The whole P7 project started back in 2017. Most of the uh, EV brands at the time were starting off their lineup with uh, SUVs. We found out is younger generation was more into stuff like cutting edge technologies, stuff like uh, freedom and authenticity, and just purely having pioneer lifestyle, really. So what we did is uh, basically trying to create a whole new product to bring on the market, all electric, sedan coupe. So the first thing we did for that is to completely redesign the battery pack and bring the thickness down to 110 millimeters. That was at the time the thinnest battery on the market. So this new product was uh, a complete revolution for uh, not only on the market but also for our brand that will kind of bring and set the whole new uh, lineup that will come in the future. What sets really apart uh, P7 from the other car EV brand is its front face really. We wanted it to be exhilarating, you know, something that would be really refreshing, iconic, memorable. So uh, we quickly came up with that idea of a robot that would uh, come straight out of a science fiction movie. Very iconic lightsaber then run across the whole front end, uh, being separated also from the high beam and low beam. But back then in 2017, usually you would see a car and it would be like something like two eyes on the face. Very few companies and very few cars were actually um, using this trick of separating the DRL from the main lamp. So that was something that we really wanted to push. Really glad that kind of we put the energy on the design side, bring that into a mass production as a first in the industry and use this as a family face we like to call the X-Bot. For the proportion, uh, what we wanted to achieve is uh, a car that would look uh, elegant and sporty. We kind of pushed the, the A pillar fa as far back as we could to move the, the glass window as much in as we could towards the end to have this kind of teardrop shape from the top view right, that would give us the uh, opportunity to have these beautiful rear shoulders and, and fenders mass uh, just above the rear wheel. When it comes to surfacing, still we wanted to bring some spice in us. So we quickly came with what we called at the time a diffusion of sensuality, which if you look at the side panel, you have this crease line just above front door handle, and that kind of like diffuses away into a very soft manner to the front and wheel fenders. And that put together would give this kind of beautiful stance that uh, we have attitude, this minimalism yet attractive car that we know today.